the future really is going to be cross-chain. We already see that with some of the biggest protocols setting up shops on different chains. This is such a strong competitive advantage, being able to tap into these other audiences. There's going to be no way for a protocol to reach the same size and grow as much without being truly cross-chain. I'm Hendrik, I'm a director for the Wormhole Foundation, where I had a lot of the strategic and development efforts for the protocol. The blockchain world, uh, we can imagine as each individual blockchain is like different cities. These cities are not interconnected with each other, there's no roads. It's kind of like the world pre-globalization in the way that you had small individual economies that all operated similarly. Like some had specializations, but there was no way to efficiently exchange goods between these different cities or countries. Wormhole, you can imagine as being the roads between these cities. It allows information and value to flow freely between any of the connected blockchains. We've seen what globalization has led to in the world with like rapid increase of innovation. And I think that's what cross-chain communication is going to enable for the blockchain space as well. It's just going to be a massive catalyst for innovation. A lot of people think Wormhole is just a bridge, but there's a lot more to it than that. There's three core pillars Wormhole enables for the blockchain world. And that is first, allowing you to, with one click, take your asset cross-chain. The second pillar is DEPS, with one click, allowing you as a developer to take your application cross-chain with the least development effort, a new code having to be written. Third thing is taking data cross-chain, making data freely flow between chains and available to everyone. The wormhole idea started like as a more narrow solution to a very concrete problem. Project Zero reached out. They wanted to build an exchange on Solana. The problem, though, was that the only coin in the Solana ecosystem was the Solana token. What they wanted was a way uh, for assets to move into Solana from other blockchains. We had to move really quickly because they were just launching. So it was like a two-week effort in which we looked into how we could best design such a bridge. It was only, I think, four months later that Jump actually reached out. They'd been working on a protocol called Pith, which is an Oracle protocol that brings financial data to Solana. And they wanted to take this data cross-chain. That hit us as a surprise because there had been a couple protocols before that had asked us that, but in the beginning we were thinking funds was the main use case of cross-chain. So we went back to the drawing board and tried to come up with the most flexible solution that would allow the future of truly cross-chain use cases. And this was kind of the inception for the Wormhole V2, which is what we all know as Wormhole today. In my head, Wormhole is going to be the most trusted and fundamental piece of infrastructure that everyone will rely on. Users might not even know which chain they're interacting with. And that interaction between multiple chains is seamlessly handled through this communication layer. Essentially turning users from being blockchain users into truly web-free users.